Hollywood casting is definitely not an easy job. While you always want to cast the best fit for a role, how can you decide between so many talented performers? It's no surprise that big name celebrities have to compete with others to secure the role, but when they lose out on a big one, it can still be a big deal. Whether they turned down the coveted role or were snubbed at the last minute, it still makes for an interesting discussion. So today that's exactly what we're gonna do as we dive into the top 10 celebrities who lost out on major movie roles. What's going on guys? I'm your host Bree Room and welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. Today we're talking about celebrities who lost some pretty major movie roles, and I've got a pretty gnarly list for you guys if I do say so myself. But before we get into that, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications so you always know when we post a new video. Also, check up here for a playlist to see more videos like this one, and don't forget to stay tuned until the end of the video for some bonus content. Now let's get into today's list. Starting us off at number 10, Josh Hutcherson. I'm sure we are all familiar with Andrew Garfield's role as Peter Parker in the Amazing Spider-Man films, but Andrew wasn't the only strong contender for the role. Josh Hutcherson was also being contender considered for the role, but obviously it went to Andrew in the end. Josh was so close to getting the part that he even made a demo reel for the role and he made a pretty good Spider-Man in my opinion. Even though he didn't get the part in The Amazing Spider-Man the first time, he was considered again for the role as Peter Parker in the MCU Spider-Man reboot, but again lost the role to Tom Holland. Seems like he's losing to a lot of Brits here. <laughs> for Josh, even though he lost out on the role twice, there's no hard feelings since he got so much success from the Hunger Games franchise, but imagine PETA swinging through trees like Spider-Man instead of burying himself in the mud like a weirdo. At number 9, Gwyneth Paltrow. The 1997 film Titanic was a box office hit. It made over $2 billion at the box office and won a butt ton of awards as well. It's a classic film and I'm pretty sure that everyone and their mother has seen it. Kate Winslet, who played Rose in the film, was nominated for an Academy Award for her role and it brought her a lot of success. But Kate wasn't the top pick for the film's cast in the beginning. Turns out the studio had offered Gwyneth Paltrow the coveted role and she actually turned it down. She was one of the last two actresses considered for the part and she turned it down, leaving it to Kate. Even though she was successful in later movies like Shakespeare in Love in 99, for which she won an Academy Award, she could have had a very different career path had she taken the role in Titanic. Even Gwyneth's mom doesn't like it when she talks about losing the role. Maybe she's just devastated that her daughter didn't get the chance to snub Jack from the obvious extra space on the door. So much space on the door. She was just selfish. <laughs> Coming in at number 8, Eddie Redmayne. Eddie Redmayne is one of Hollywood's most talented actors. I love every film this guy's in because he's just so freaking good. But even though he's an amazing actor most of the time, he's not always the top pick for some casting directors. In an instance where he lost out on a major film role was when he missed out on playing Kylo Ren in Star Wars. At the time of his audition, the character of Kylo Ren was super top secret, so even the people who read for the role had no idea what character they were auditioning for. In an interview, Eddie said that they gave him lines from Pride and Prejudice and asked him to improv being a bad guy. Seems relatively simple, so to speak, but for Eddie, it did not come so naturally. Eddie ended up reading the lines with a bunch of different and crazy voices to get into the evil character they were asking for, and even tried his hand at the famous Darth Vader breathing. But in the end, the casting directors weren't all too impressed with the audition, and Eddie lost the role. At 7, Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt is famous famous for her roles in films like A Quiet Place, The Devil Wears Prada, and Mary Poppins. But she could have also been famous for playing Black Widow in the MCU. Emily had secured the role as Natasha Romanoff in the Iron Man sequel, but because of scheduling conflicts with her other production, Jack Black's Gulliver's Travels. I mean, why she would want to give up an MCU production for Gulliver's Travels, I will never know, but to each their own, I guess. Emily said in an interview that she had to drop the Black Widow role for her own sanity, since filming two films at the same time would have been very draining on her. But again, I would have chosen the MCU hands down. Either way, Emily's backing out of the production paved the way for Scarlett Johansson to take up the mantle, and I guess it was for the best because honestly, I couldn't imagine anyone else as Black Widow. In at 6, Matt Damon. 
seems like Matt Damon has lost out on quite a few major roles in the past. He's passed on playing the lead in Daredevil and has even passed on playing Harvey Dent in The Dark Knight. But probably the biggest role that he's missed out on has to be the role of Jake Sully in James Cameron's Avatar. In an interview, the actor revealed that though he thought that the script was great, preparation for his other film, The Bourne Ultimatum, was beginning at the same time as Avatar's, so he chose to back out of that role. It was also revealed that he and Jake Gyllenhaal were both considered for the role, but it ultimately ended up going to Sam Worthington in the end. The film ended up grossing $2.7 billion at the box office, and Matt joked that the film would have been even more successful had he been in it. But you snooze, you lose, I guess. Halfway through at number five, Emma Watson. Another star who lost out on a major role because of conflict issues is Emma Watson. Watson was originally supposed to play Mia in La La Land, but had to back out because of conflicts with her other production, Beauty and the Beast. She shared that for her role as Belle in the live action Disney remake, she had a lot of preparations to do for the role. She had horse training, dance lessons, and voice lessons to do, so her schedule was already pretty packed. And since her role in La La Land was also a musical and would involve singing and dancing, her training would have pretty much been doubled in that same time frame. So I mean, I can fully understand why you would make the decision to drop one of the films. And on top of that, it must not have been a very easy decision. Both films were very successful, but Emma Stone took up the mantle as Mia in La La Land over Watson, and the film landed Stone an Academy Award for Best Actress. Either way, Watson got to star in a musical, and to me, I see this as an absolute win. If you know that meme, I like you. At number four, Michael B. Jordan. You know that question that people sometimes ask at like boozy game nights of like, who would you want to play you in a movie about your life? Well, this question actually came up for real when it came to casting for the film Straight Outta Compton and Dr. Dre requested that Michael B. Jordan play him in the upcoming film. Unfortunately for Dr. Dre, his dream didn't quite come true though. And also quite unfortunately for Michael, he was unavailable for the part because he was filming the Fantastic Four reboot. Now I'm saying unfortunately because that movie was hot garbage and you cannot convince me otherwise. It would have been better for Michael to have been in Straight Out of Compton just to save himself the humiliation of being in the Unfortunate Four. The NWA biopic was already facing some scrutiny since people thought it was going to fail because of its already small budget, so that's probably why Michael didn't just drop the Fantastic Four since they thought it would do well. But oh boy, did they have that the wrong way around. Oh, how the tables have turned. Coming in at number three, Matthew McConaughey. It's hard to imagine anyone other than Leonardo DiCaprio as Jack Dawson from Titanic, but it almost happened. Matthew McConaughey actually auditioned for the same role, but obviously lost out on it. In an interview, Matthew said that though he thought he had absolutely nailed his audition and that he was a serious contender for the role, saying, quote, it was one of those auditions where I left and thought I had it, end quote. Apparently, even though he did well at his audition, he said that James Cameron simply liked Leo better. This role was really what made Leo a household name, so imagine if he never got that part. Where would he be? And how would the film have gone differently if Matthew secured the bag instead? Would he have gotten enough room on that door? We may never know. You can tell that I'm really cheesed about that door. In at number two, Will Smith. Keanu Reeves is probably best known for his starring role in The Matrix, but there was a moment in production where Keanu may not have seen his time in the spotlight because the role was going to be given to someone else, and this someone else was Will Smith. Will Smith already had the cool, mysterious guy who wears glasses all the time look down pat because of his time in Men in Black, but fortunately for Keanu, Will Smith backed out of the role. Now, years later, when asked about his regrets about turning down the role, Will says he has no hard feelings about it, saying, quote, I watched Keanu's performance, and very rarely do I say this, but I would have messed it up. At that point, I wasn't smart enough as an actor to let the movie be, end quote. I mean, Will was already so successful, so not taking on the role from The Matrix really didn't stunt his career anyway. Finally, at number one, Selena Gomez. Camp Rock is the film that put Demi Lovato on the map. It's the Disney Channel original movie that put her career into hyperdrive, but that almost didn't happen. Selena Gomez was actually Disney's first choice to play the lead in the film, but because she wasn't ready to take that next step in her career, she turned it down and the part went to Demi instead. Selena was just coming from the rise of Wizards of Waverly Place and was strictly about acting, so she wasn't quite ready to begin her singing career, and she would have had to do so in order to play the part in Camp Rock. 
But can you imagine if Selena had actually gotten that part? I feel like Demi's quirkiness in the role would have been lost to Selena's more badass energy, but who knows. Alright guys, now before I sign off for the day, let's get into some comment shoutouts from top 10 celebrities who went too far. Blue23 says, you're my favorite little chicken nugget, Brie. <laughs> Thank you. I, I guess um, I guess my new brand is Chicken Nugget. I'm not mad at it. I love me a good chicken nugget, but like, I don't know, that's kind of iconic. Daim Nasarula says, what's your dog's name? My dog's name is Bubby. I know it's a weird name. I don't know how I came up with it. I looked at his little face and I said, that's a Bubby face, and now his name is Bubby. <laughs> Alto J says, common sense does not matter. I think that common sense is a lot like street smarts. Not everyone has it, but it's very important to have. Purcell Lash says, wow, a culinary degree, impressive, kudos to you. What is your specialty if you don't mind me asking? I don't really have a specialty. I mean, I kind of dabbled in everything, but if I was going to have a specialty, it would probably be like baking or something. If I wasn't working here, I'd still probably be baking, so. Well, yeah, guys, that's all I've got for you peeps today. I hope you enjoy watching this video because I enjoy presenting it for you. If you know of any other celebrities who should be on this list whom I didn't mention, feel free to let me know down in the comments and maybe I'll make a part two. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe out there. Do a good deed for a stranger today because why the hell not? And stay groovy, friends.